Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are continuing with our clearances approach mini series. We will discuss modeling clearances in case of master sketch approach that we did in FreeCAD link branch. If you haven't seen the previous video about this uh, modeling approach, I will leave a link in the description below. But just to quickly recap, we created a sketch that is called a master sketch, where we have uh, dimensioned our geometry, and we created two independent parts that reference the sketch, the master sketch, and then we just use the projecting external geometry, which in FreeCAD link branch you can project as a defining geometry. So you can use this sketch as a basis for the features like pads and pockets. So unlike in previous two clearance videos, starting sketching in new edges and offsetting them and defining them would be counterproductive because we wanted to use the master sketch and build those features quickly. So how do we approach it? FreeCAD link branch has additional nice feature that helps us to deal with that. Let's start with uh, the interference lines that we see here. So our spool is interfering with a hole in the cassette as they are modeled from the single sketch and they are modeled to the nominal dimensions. So let's find this pocket. Here it is. And just to demonstrate the sketch, it's a projected external defining geometry. So let's open the pocket options. We will see that it's through all. And if we scroll down a bit, we will see small addition to options for the pocket tool. It is called fitting and their tolerances and the inner fit. I would argue that's a bit incorrect. It's a clearance. We're modeling in clearances, not tolerances. And if you want to check out the differences between tolerances and the clearances, I will leave the link to the video where we discussed it as an introductory to this mini series. So what we can do here as it's a hole, we want it to be a bit bigger than the sketch defining a hole. So let's add 0.5 millimeters as a clearance. And you will see that the preview outline will increase. Click OK. You will see that there is now a visible clearance. Let's check it from the top. Here it is. And no interference lines. So the next one would be the spool that is contacting the wall of the cassette. So let's go to the spool, to Galactive Body. Let's find the pad that created our clip around the spool, edit it. And now let's go again to the fitting and change the clearance. Now we want it a bit smaller, so minus 0.5 millimeters. And you will see that it reduces in size. Click OK. And now there is a visible gap between the inner spool size and the cassette wall. So the last thing to do would be the interference between the top of the lip and the cassette wall. So again, I'll go to this pad. Let's find it again. Here it is. And let's find our sketch. So this is our sketch. It's highlighted in green. And we see that we started from the top and went down to the datum plane. So let's check the datum plane 0.2 and we will see that they correspond and we can verify that easily by checking the properties of the sketch data and attachment attachment support we see that it's on the datum plane 002 what we can do now we want to lower it a bit so we can just take our sketch attachment offset for the axis and position so it's z axis it's okay and let's make a minus 0.2 millimeter offset and now we have created some clearance between the top of the lip and the cassette body from the top as well as previously from the walls of the cassette and the hole where the spool goes through now while we're at it let's look at some additional features that FreeCAD link branch brings to the pad and to the pocket tools. For that, let's just open a new FreeCAD link branch window and create new sketch on top plane. And I will just create two circles and click close. I will do the same in the FreeCAD release candidate 2, the latest available version. So let's create a new sketch on top plane. 
and let's sketch same two circles the dimensions don't matter because it's just for a demonstration and click ok so now let's just pad it 10 millimeters that is fine now let's go back to our FreeCAD link branch and click pad as well let's put it on the screen a bit better okay so the first thing you will notice is visual side of things so I prefer this transparent outline of the preview than the full geometry. However, you will see that there are new options that are not available in FreeCAD, and there are a lot more of them. So first of all, the operation. The additive pad, we can convert it to subtractive pad, and we will have a pocket operation. However, you can create new shapes, and you can create intersecting Boolean shapes as well. So we have more flexibility with these tools. But let's go back to Additive. Dimension is fine. And let's go to the Taper options, because these are quite nice as well. FreeCAD 1.0 has the Taper as well. And let's set the Taper angle for, let's say, 30 degrees. So we can see it clearly. Let's go to the Body view and make it a bit more transparent so we can see the inner workings of our operation. So we see that both inner and outer wall is tapered. Let's do the same with FreeCAD link branch. Let's say that the angle will be 30 millimeters. First you will see that it behaves a bit different. This went tapering parallel and this went inverse for these walls. And you will see that we cannot change anything except for the angle itself. However, in FreeCAD link branch, we can disable the auto angle and let's set it to zero. And you will see that we have tapered only outside of our model. If we want to, we can go 30 degrees and we will have the same result as we had in FreeCAD. Or we can taper only inside of our model and have this hole tapered. And then, as we saw previously, we operated with tolerances. However, the nice thing is that with the closed loops, you can take the tolerance for the outside and, for example, edit. And you can configure the inner fit as well. Let's make the hole smaller. So inner fit, let's make it minus 5 millimeters. And you will see that the inner hole contracted as well. Now, we need to discuss where it works good and where it doesn't really work. So as you notice, this is a closed profile. We have a nice ring around it. Click OK. So it's nice solid body with continuous walls. Where it doesn't work so great would be if we take our example spool here. Let's disable spool itself. Let's take the cassette to go the active body. And let's take our pad for the cassette body. You will see let's check it from the top, that we have an interruption in our profile. So if we would try to configure the inner fit, it won't recognize this hole as an inner hole. So if we change the inner fit, like minus one millimeter, nothing will work. However, for outer clearance, it will still work. Let's add one millimeter. You will see that it will even merge it. Let's maybe make it smaller, zero minus 0 0.3 will impact all of the outside because there is a no inner fit there's only outside wall so what are the benefits of this clearance approach the benefits are that you can use the master sketch approach in FreeCAD link branch and add your clearances when you need them where you need them so i would usually go and change the pockets and add the tolerances to the pocket now to make it more visible that you have made the tolerance adjustment, just rename it and add the amount of clearance you have added, so 0.5 millimeters. And at the glance you will see which features you have added the clearance to. So I hope you found this video useful. And let me know if you already figured out additional applications of these features in FreeCAD LinkBridge that we can use to model our designs. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.